All right, so let's take a look at how a student can use OneNote to record lecture notes within a OneNote notebook. Now, you may be, as a teacher, you might be using OneNote class notebook. But for this demonstration, for the best use of live captions within OneNote, I recommend that each student create their own notebook, their own OneNote notebook. And that's so that they have access to their own notes and it's not shared out with the entire group. And it's pretty simple for a student to create their own personal OneNote notebook. So what I want to do is I'm going to come into OneDrive and I'm on OneDrive on the web and I'm in the My Files section of my OneDrive account. I'm going to click on New and I'm going to create a new OneNote notebook. And then I just need to give it a name. Now you can have one notebook and the student can add um, sections for each course that they are taking. Um, the transcripts are going to be placed into the OneNote notebook in its own section called, called transcripts. Once it's created, I'll walk through that. And then they can copy and paste and move those notes to the very specific course for which the notes were taken. So let's say that this is going to be, um, we'll just call this spring without the caps lock. We'll call this spring 2021. For example, I'm gonna click create. And again, I'm doing this as a student, so I'm not sharing my notebook with anybody. This is just a blank notebook, which is gonna allow me to use the live captions feature. So I've been given a blank section with a blank page. I'm going to right mouse click where it says untitled section. I'm going to rename the section and let's call this bio 101, for example. So I'm going to create a section for each of my classes. Um, just makes it a little bit easier. For the untitled page, I simply need to type in the name of the page. And let's say I want to record, uh, let's say today is the 31st of 21. So I'm going to give it um, a date. Um, we'll call this lecture notes and hit the enter key. And now I'm ready to begin my first live captions. Now, I can't do this on my own. In order to use the live captions feature, I do need my instructor or my presenter to use Microsoft Translator. So what does that look like? Well, first, my instructor may not even know that Microsoft Translator is available. And what does that actually look like? So let's take a quick peek. So Microsoft Translator, is available for free, I'm mirroring here, from the um, the App Store um, on Apple or Google, it doesn't matter, it's a free download, looks like this. So I just need to kind of introduce this to my presenter or my instructor if they have never seen this before. This is a fantastic tool that should be used as widely as possible. Um, great for accessibility and equity in the classroom. So I've downloaded Translator onto my phone. Again, it's free, I'm just gonna click onto it. Now I can use this as an instant translator, so this is great for anybody who uh, works or converses with people or travels um, into places where their language, the language they speak, is not the language that others speak or um, the language they read is not the, the same language as others that they're working with. So I can press the record button, I can record in my language, and then I can have it translated into one of almost 70 languages now, I think. I can take photographs of um, documents, including like menus written in um, other languages, and it will translate it into my language to help me when I'm out and traveling. But the one that I need my instructor or my presenter to use while I'm using live captions is the conversation button. So what, this, what the instructor, what the presenter needs to do is start a conversation. So the instructor selects their name. They, if they've logged in on their phone, their name will already be there. They can, they have already selected their language when they started this app. So this is the language that the person is speaking. And when I'm ready, I click enter on my phone. The conversation is started. And there's a few different ways that I, the student, the listener, the audience member can participate in this conversation. I'm going to be using this short code because I'm gonna go into my OneNote notebook that I just created and I'm gonna enter that code. 
Now, if I'm not using OneNote, I can still get transcripts. I can use this QR code or I can type in this code to be a part of the translation, um, to be a part of this transcript um, on my web browser. But I'm gonna be working today in OneNote specifically. So I'm gonna click over to my OneNote and now I'm in student mode, I'm in listener mode, and I want to be a part of the conversation. I want to have a transcript. So what do I do? I'm going to click on view, and over all the way to the right-hand side is live captions. And I'm gonna click live captions. And it's just gonna take a moment to open up the service. And remember that code that was on my phone? Okay, this is the code that my instructor, my presenter needs to give to me and I'm going to enter that here in the join code, IPJGK, and then I can choose which language I want my live captions to appear in my OneNote. So if, Eng if I just need to hear them, I'm hearing them in English, that's what my instructor, my presenter is going to be speaking, but I can also have them translated or printed out in one of almost 70 languages here in OneNote. Um, for this demonstration, I'm gonna keep it in English, but I will show other languages as well. So when I've chosen what language my captions are going to be in, I am going to click Join. Now, as soon as I did that, the instructor's phone changed. So now what I can do is it simply as the instructor, all I have to do is press and hold the microphone while I'm speaking to record my conversation. So I'm gonna press and hold, and I'm just going to start talking. Welcome, today we're gonna to be learning about Biology 101. It's the start of a new quarter or new semester or new year. Welcome to the class, here are the expectations. I'm gonna release, and now it's, not lo it's no longer recording my captions. Let's see what happened, again, that's my instructor phone. Let's see what happened for the student. And so now the student has the recording, the transcript recorded, all of the words, and so we can continue with our lecture notes. Now, while the instructor is speaking, we can be handwriting notes, because remember with OneNote, you have the draw function, whether you use a stylus or your finger, you can draw your notes, handwrite your notes, and convert them to text later. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to type my notes while the instructor is speaking. Now this can cause a lot of anxiety because A, you can see I'm making some mistakes and I'm trying to go back and fix it, but I might miss something. So it's important that I'm also taking notes, but I can also be free to hear the lecture instead of worrying about catching every single word that the instructor is saying. So let's continue on. I'm going to press the microphone button for the instructor again. All right, so my instructor is now talking. Um, we are doing our lecture. You can see here that everything that the instructor is saying is being transcribed into my language, and they are just gonna continue talking. Now, what if I am feeling like, oh my gosh, I just missed something. The instructor said something that was very important. The presenter said something important. I wanna go back and highlight it right now. I can do that. There's a couple of things I can do. The instructor, regardless of my wishes, is going to continue talking, right? But let's say I'm getting distracted. I can pause. The instructor is still going. I can click on the highlighter and I can highlight text. I can switch colors, so if I need something, if I'm highlighting in different colors, if I'm using a system uh, in some way, I can make things larger, so if I need to see things more clearly, I can. My instructor's still going on and doing the, the lecture. I'm just taking some time to come back while it's fresh in my memory, and I'm highlighting some important information so I don't forget about it, okay. Whew, okay, now I'm ready. I feel like I've captured the most important things. Uh, and I'm gonna resume. And I'm gonna zoom back out really quickly here. I'm gonna come back to size 12 because, let me move this away. 
come back over. All right, here we go. I'm going to resume and watch what happens. Everything that was still that was still going on, the instructor was still talking, um, is still recording. And as soon as I continue, as soon as I unpause my captions, everything the instructor said now joins my notes. So I didn't miss anything when I paused the live transcription recording. All right, let's say we are finished now. The, the lesson is over, the presentation is over, the lecture is over. Let's see what happens. Well, actually, before that, let's see what we can do. I want to change languages. So I can see this presentation, I'm, I'm reading it in English, but what if I am not a native English speaker, but my instructor or my presenter is? Notice at the bottom here that there's a little gear wheel for settings. I'm going to click on the settings gear wheel and I can change my language. So I can change it to one of almost 70, I think. It's about 65 or so. I can change it to a different um, language. And then I'm going to click Save. Now, it's not going to go back and retranslate everything prior into my newly chosen language, but moving forward, it will provide transcript captioning in the language once I set the new language. So now I have, I can practice and I can read it in my native language, or I can read it in English if I'm strong enough in English, but if I notice that there's some issues, I'm having some trouble with comprehension, I can change it to my more natural language to help me keep in touch with the notes so to make sure that I'm truly understanding. So this is fabulous for accessibility, for inclusivity, for equity, for anybody, not just students, but anybody in a meeting as well. All right, I'm going to stop recording as the instructor. I'm going to let go of the microphone. And so our transcriptions have stopped. All right, I'm going to pause here for myself. Um, again, I can come back and I can highlight in different colors, etc. All right, so now, lecture's done, now what do I do? So notice that over underneath my section, I have a brand new um, tabbed section that was called transcripts. And once I click on transcripts, it gave me the date and that join code that my instructor used, and all of my highlighting is here. The one thing that it didn't do, I'm gonna actually exit out of live captions, it didn't actually highlight this one, but I can come back and I can highlight. So it did keep, it was working on saving. It takes a few minutes to save, but all of my transcripts are here. Now, here's what I could do. I can highlight, copy, come back to Bio 101, and I can add them to my notes. I can keep them here just making sure that everything um, stays in two locations. I can keep it here or I and I can add it over into my notes sections. So every time that I go into a new class, I can have a new tab, a new tab section for each course that I'm in. And every time I start a new live captions, it's going to add a new date with that new join code. So it helps me keep them separate and I can copy and paste them into the appropriate course section or meeting section. If this wasn't um, a student and teacher situation, this would be great for presenters who are doing leading meetings. Um, instead of having somebody who is the recording secretary of the meeting, you can use live transcripts and then copy and paste those transcripts along with probably some editing because remember, although it is really good, sometimes there are mistakes. So it does require somebody to come back and, you know, reread, make sure everything makes sense. But then you have a fully recorded transcript that you can copy and paste for your meeting, for your lecture, whatever is necessary, just to ensure that you catch all the information that you need. Thank you so much again for joining today. As promised, my contact information is up on the screen. If you do find yourself in need of support, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here to help in whatever way you need. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And again, thank you. Cheers.